Hi, I'm Monica. In this lesson, you will learn how to display a dialog where the user can input a date range, which will be used to filter the data displayed in the report. First, create the transient class custom date range. With the property customer number to store the customer number value. Since we are using local date for dates, we will use the same data type for the start and end dates. Done. Let's create the action to display the dialog. This action will extend view base action, so it can work with the view. With show dialog, an empty dialog will be displayed. When showing the dialog, the getView method will point to the dialog. We will specify that the dialog model name is custom date range which is the same as the transient class name. Let's test it. Perfect. Ideally, it should automatically load the customer number, and we should also add an action to print the report. First, we will get the value of the customer number. We need to do this before show dialog, so the view returned by getView is the customer details view. Then, set the value. Finally, with add actions, we will add the print action. We will create this action in a separate controller. The controller's name can be anything. In my case, I'll use the name of the transient class. Before continuing with the report action, we add the action to the dialog. Use the controller name and the action name to add it. This means we can add any action from any controller. Similar to the report in the previous lesson, send a null data source and, in the parameters, Send the values obtained from the view. Start the project to make the database available. Create a new report called Customer Invoice by Date Range. Define the parameters to receive.
select the invoicing database we created in the previous lesson. Also write a similar query, but adding a line indicating that the invoice date must be between start date and end date. Done. Add the elements to the report. And test it. The date format we get from the view matches how I'm entering it. It works well. Add another parameter to receive the customer's name. In the report action, we are already in the dialog view. So if we want to get the customer's name, we need to use get previous view. Done. After making some changes to the report, we copy it to the project and start the application. I will change the date of one invoice to make it different from the others. It shows us an expression error, which must be related to the parameters. It could be because we are receiving it as a string but sending it as an object, and if you remember, they are of type local date. Done, let's test it again. Perfect, now it's showing us the invoices between the selected dates. With this, users can customize the parameters for the report. You can take advantage of this to create more complex reports without needing to add much code. If you have any questions or issues, you can ask us on the forum. You can also download the code for this lesson from the repository link. Both links are in the video description. Bye.